議席，有請香港中文大學榮譽院士屈志仁教授、香港中文大學文物館館長姚俊莊教授、姚學研究基金會員會長及董事姚清芬女士、姚學研究基金董事姚清怡女士、佛瑞立書院一百五十週年校慶籌備委員會主席余錦基先生。佛瑞立書院小學校長羅錦麗校長，同埋本校藝術發展委員會主席蔡麗明老師。首先，我哋有請鄭校長為大家致辭。各位同學，葉清芬女士，葉清芬女士，郭志仁教授。呢度再見多生師兄，郭志仁教授係佛水嘅舊生，一九四七年畢業嘅舊生。入學，一九四七年入學。另一位師兄梁錦基先生，羅錦明校長，亦都特別歡迎沈祖耀校長。三年畢業嘅梁振志會長。What a blessing it is to be able to participate in this art exhibition today, as an overture to a 150th anniversary of the Das Symposium. Professor Professor Zhao's extraordinary insight into academic pursuits, research of Chinese and Asian culture is well documented. As well as his wonderful insights into the creative arts, not the least of which calligraphy and music. Among Professor Zhao's many philosophical writings, one aspect particularly resonated resonates with the Dawson Boys School, and it is his thoughts about academic pursuit and the artistic pursuit enforcing each other. He feels that. The higher you go, the deeper you go in academic pursuit. The higher you go, the deeper you go in artistic pursuit. The higher the plane, the, the, the more insightful it gets and it transcends borders. As you pursue these two fields, it enriches the culture and at the same time, it transcends culture, transcends national and geographical culture. On behalf of the school, on behalf of DBS, I would just like to say a thank you to Professor Zhao and family. Three things in particular, as mentioned by our MC today. We thank Professor Zhao for gracing us and blessing us with his calligraphy. It dawns the walls of our school's meeting room, as well as the headmaster's room, with Tolin Chenhua and our school name, but sorry, five years ago, among many, many gifts, this stands out for our 145th anniversary. On behalf of our teachers, we would also like to thank Professor Zhao, because 150 teachers, we all spent a full day at the Zhao Zhongyi Academy. We were enriched intellectually, we were enriched culturally, and we were enriched spiritually that day. Personally, I have not had many encounters with the Professor except once when we had dinner together. And there were two things that struck me personally. One was his handshake, and one was his eyes. When I shook hands with the professor, I think by that time he was over 90 years old. But the firmness of his handshake, the strength of his grip, almost crushed my hand. <laughs> uh, I heard that our professor practices Qigong every day. And during the dinner, Although the professor didn't say much, but you can tell from his eyes uh, the breadth and the depth of his perception. And everyone comes out enriched and transformed, and I felt very, very blessed to, able, to be able to participate in that dinner. So I'm very, very grateful to that. My words or anybody's words pale in comparison to the opportunity to witness firsthand Professor Zhao's artwork and allow it to speak directly to you. 
To close, may I take this opportunity to thank the Zhao family once again, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and our Artistic Development Committee of DBS for putting all this together. May you all be illuminated and blessed by Professor Zhao's work. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to see many artworks from the Art Museum of the Chinese University of Hong Kong and also from the Fine Arts Department to be exhibited here in the Diocesan Boys School to celebrate its 150th anniversary. Last year, 2017, when Professor Rao celebrated his 100th birthday, we had a great honor to invite Professor Rao to attend the opening ceremony at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. At that time, the two Ms. Liu very graciously agreed to bring and to accompany Professor Brown to attend the opening ceremony, even though he was not feeling super great at the time. But on the day of the exhibition opening, actually, he was full of vigor, and he shook many people's hands. Um, so much so that I did not get my chance to test the firmness after, the after my first try 10 years ago. But anyway, we were pleasantly surprised by a group of youngsters who also attended the opening ceremony. And those were the students of the Diocesan Boys School. Under the guidance and leadership of Ms. Lydia Chen, I was very surprised and impressed that a group of secondary school students had chosen to attend an exhibition opening in the Chinese University of Hong Kong um, exhibition opening. Because, as far as I remember, that had never happened before over my six years of tenure at the university. So when I asked the students what, them, what brought them over here, they said, oh, of course, it is the legacy of Professor Rao. They really wanted to come and to see this legend of Hong Kong and, in fact, of China. So after the opening, I was even more surprised a week later when I received a portfolio from the students showing me the photos that they took with Professor Rao on that day. Little did I know that they were so enthusiastic, that they were so enthused by the works by Professor Rao, that a few months later I received a phone call from the teachers of the school that they were interested in organizing an exhibition in conjunction with our university to celebrate this great anniversary of your school. And without doubt, of course, I said yes immediately. And, um, as you can see from the exhibition today, we are very, very pleased by the professionalism indicated by your dedicated staff. I must commend uh, Dan Sir, who just showed me the display cases that he personally made. So uh, I can see that all of your staff and students here are multi-talented, as we also heard a few minutes ago. And I don't know if Professor Watt will say this, but he is a multi-talented man, and he is also an accomplished musician who can play the Gu Qin extremely well. So without further ado, I would like to encourage you to enjoy this exhibition as much as you can. Come back to see the calligraphy often, bring your friends and family over here, and hopefully in the future we will have more opportunities to collaborate with the university and also the school. Have a good day. Food beat. 
我想特別指出咧，決於引導文化嘅認識，就係、是、因為佢懂得發。佢喺一九六三至六四個學年咧，同法國遠東學會一啲成員喺印度度過一年。翻嚟後咧，佢寫咗幾篇文章，後來集於誒收集在一一本名為《凡學集》一本書。呢本書咧就論述古古印度文文化對中國思想同文字嘅影響。呢樣咧就係佢對文化史一個大貢獻。佢喺印度嘅一年咧，另外有一個另外一種收穫。呢、这個收穫咧喺今日我哋可以見到，就係佢嘅畫。佢喺印度見到一些新奇嘅事物咧，佢以用白描嘅方法嚟誒記錄。從此咧。就恢復佢細個嗰時候，佢年輕嘅時候對繪畫嘅興趣。佢翻到香港後咧，佢就開始畫畫畫。起初咧係農奴古畫，特別係元代山水畫，好似王公王公望嘅《富春山居圖》，係以念筆畫。後來咧係自由揮灑。今日我哋可可以睇佢畫咧，就係好一種。姚先生可以話係中國最後一個文人畫家。早期中國繪畫完全係由職業畫家嘅作品，係寫實嘅作畫。到北宋時開始有文人畫嘅意識，即係蘇東坡所謂畫中王王維嘅詩，詩中有畫，王維嘅畫咧畫中有詩。即係除咗畫中嘅實景。之外咧，另外表達一種意境，即係詩空從所謂象外之象，境外之境。王維嘅畫我哋今日已經睇唔到咧，但係真正嘅文人畫能夠達到詩中有畫，或者有詩嘅境界嘅咧，就係、是、晚明。而且晚明人嘅畫咧，亦往往咧能夠流露畫人嘅學養同埋性格。有老師嘅話咧，就有呢種特質，就有呢種特色。我哋睇佢嘅畫咧，就未見其人。佢嘅為人咧，有嚴肅嘅一面，亦有風趣嘅一面。佢喺日本，有人問佢喺日本有茶道、花道、柔道，乜嘢都好得到。佢話：中國有冇呢啲咧？你唔同咧？佢嘅回答係咩咧？佢話：道可道，不常道。即係佢用老子《道德經》學一句，將個不字改，將個非字，非字都係不字。嗱，非同不咧都係同字嘅字嚟嘅，但係插入呢一句裏邊咧，佢字就大不常同。誒，道可道，非常道咧，即係可以講得出嚟嘅道咧，就同埋並行嘅道，並常。但係道可道，不常道咧，就係咩咧？就係、是、道可以講，但係唔係淨係講。咁就係啲佢呢個話咧，既既有趣，亦有意義。聽起嚟咧就好笑嘅，但係咧佢唔係笑話。所以我剛才講咧，佢畫如其人，佢嘅用筆咧可以睇佢嘅功力。但係如果我我哋細心觀察咧。你可以領會到另外一種趣味，就係從他從佢嘅學嘅同埋性格有關。如果我哋觀察到呢一點，如果我哋細細心睇一陣嘅話，觀察到呢一點咧，咁、就是、我哋可以話對耀魯嘅書畫嘅印象咧，就達到得到嘅境界。咁啊，唔好。誒耽誤大家時間，就係誒誒，我諗要大家係欣賞要路嘅嘅書，好多謝。
各位嘉賓，各位同學，各位家長，誒、uh, ，我好榮幸咧，係能夠做到學校一百五十週年紀念嘅主席，因為一百五十週年真係一個好漫長嘅日子，而喺呢一百五十週年裏面咧，阿瑞真係誒，幫、uh, 香港。發掘咗好多，培養咗好多舊同學出嚟。誒、呃、喺基督教精神裏面，有一班慢慢成長嘅學生。呃、我就係其中之一個。我呢，就同阿教授爭啲多，佢一百一九四七年一百歲，我就爭佢十年，我都一。九五七年入 DBS 嘅，咁啊，畢主要都唔過唔過五十幾年啦嚇，咁啊，好高興今次能夠有機會嚇誒、啊嗯，有一個咁有意義嘅字畫，你要俾我啲同學同學們嘅欣賞，呢個係好難得嘅，亦都係其實誒樂趣不易，亦都係多謝中文大學誒嘅、嗯、支持。令到我哋阿伯瑞有咁嘅機會嚟欣賞一個中國咁偉大嘅一個誒書學家又好，文學家又好，咁我希望佢哋咧，大家點解會可以好地欣賞到誒我哋呢一個咁有代表性嘅誒書誒字同埋畫誒，我都唔想阻大家咁多時間啦，我哋一齊一齊去欣賞，多謝大家。好，剪菜之前咧，首先請各位嘉賓手持花球，我哋一齊留影合照先。好，大家望住鏡頭。好，各位嘉賓請預備啦，一、二、三。好，有請各位嘉賓就座。跟住我哋想邀請埋咧，香港中文大學內科及藥物治療學系沈祖瑤教授、家教會主席黃漢欣先生、教生會主席梁振志先生，以及咧百瑞藝術發展委員會嘅各位老師一齊咧上台留影合照。